when I look at this question, I drew a triangle already just to kind of get an idea of what the triangle looks like. In this case, I have two sides and an occluded angle. I can't use the law of sines because the law of sines only works when I have a side and an angle that are opposite each other. So in this case, I don't have that. So my only choice is to use the law of cosines. So there's lots of different choices of formulas that I can use, but I have angle B. So let's see which one of these formulas contain angle B. This one contains angle B, and the side that I can only find is side B. So I have to use this formula to help me find this. So let's try to do that. So I know the formula base is going to be something like this, that it's going to be B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. So I know B squared. I don't know B squared, so that's the variable. I know A is 17.2. I'm going to square that plus 21.5 squared minus 2 times 17.2 times 21.5 times cosine of 98.1. So a lot of this stuff I can figure out right now. So I can figure out 17.2. I can figure out what this is pretty easily. When I add those two quantities together, I get 758.09. And then if I multiply these three terms together, I get 739. 6 cosine 98.98.1. So I can actually multiply those two things too. So when I multiply those two things, I get negative 104.21. Okay? So I have 758.09 minus negative 1 point or negative 104.21. So I can actually combine these two terms together and when I do that I get 862.30. So now what I can do is actually square root both sides to find out what side B is. So side B turns out to be 29.4. So I know this. I know this is 29.4. So now I have an angle and a side that are opposite each other. So actually I can use the law of sines now to solve it. So I can do the sine of 98.1 over 29.4. And that's going to equal, let's just say that we'll find angle A compared to 17.2. So I can do the sine of A over 17.2. So I can cross multiply and I get sine of A equals 17.2 sine 98.1 over 29.4. So what does that turn out to be? Well, that's sine of A equals 17.03 over 29.4, which is the same thing as me saying sine of A equals 0.5793. And then if I just take the sine inverse of both sides, I get angle A to equal 35.4 degrees. So I know this is 35.4, and then it's easy for me to find angle C, because then I can just do 180 minus 98.1 minus 35.4. And I get angle C to be 46.5. 46.
6.5%. Okay? So I want you guys to try question number 15, and we will talk about that tomorrow. Thanks.